And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Cryptops. I've also heard it pronounced Creeptops. That was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It was an abelosaur that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Niger. It looks like other abelosaurids. It's bipedal, it's got a large head and short arms. It was estimated to be 19 to 23 feet long, or 6 to 7 meters long. Not too big. Not too small either. That's true. <laughs> a cryptops had tall vertebral spines. It was a carnivore. And it had a short snout, and its jaws were covered in armor. Oh, interesting. Yeah. The surface of the maxilla, too, was heavily textured or rugose. I guess you see that in abelosaurs. Like, I'm thinking Carnotaurus a lot of times has pretty bumpy-looking face in the paleo art. Oh, that's true. Cryptops had these pits and impressions of blood vessels on the maxilla, and that shows that there was some sort of covering attached to the face, which might have been keratin. And that's how it got its name, Cryptops. Oh, cool. It's like keratin? Keratin face? No, it means covered face in Greek. Oh, gotcha. So it had some kind of covering. It was described by Paul Serino and Steve Brusati, described in 2008. So Cryptops had small teeth, and its maxilla was estimated to be about 10 inches or 25 centimeters long, and it had about 17 or 18 maxillary teeth. It was probably a scavenger. Steve Brusati said in Science Daily, quote, a fast two-legged hyena gnawing and pulling apart a carcass is how we might best imagine Cryptops' dining habits. And in a Routers article, Paul Serino said, quote, the idea was that the animal was sticking its head into carcasses. Interesting. So that's why it's like scavenger elements to it, because it might have had this keratin covering, sort of like how vultures don't have feathers on their head. This one has like extra smooth stuff on its head to protect yeah. it from the gross guts. <laughs> yeah. Well, Serena also said, quote, we think the face was covered with a bill-like material. It would have looked pretty much like the bill of a bird. Interesting. Yeah. But it probably just in general would have hunted as well. I doubt it was a obligate scavenger just because that's so uncommon. True. I like the comparison to hyenas, though, because those are also mostly predators, but do the occasional scavenging. I guess the main thing is they're carnivores. Yeah, that's true. So the type species is Cryptops paleos. And again, that genus name means covered face in Greek. And the species name paleos means old in Greek. So <laughs> Good old. old covered face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty great. Only one specimen's been found, and these fossils were found in 2000 on an expedition led by Paul Serino. It was a partial skeleton found in the western Tenere Desert. The holotype is an adult. It includes a maxilla, vertebrae, ribs, pelvic girdle, and sacrum. And Cryptops is the oldest abelosaurid found in Africa and the oldest indisputable abelosaurid in the world. <laughs> indisputable. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Paul Serino and Steve Brusati considered Creeptops to be a basal abelosaurid. In 2021, this year, Matthew Carano and others found it to be a chimera and suggested that the postcranial fossils, particularly the pelvis and sacrum, which were found to articulated, because they were found 15 meters away from the maxilla, that those postcranial fossils actually belong to a carcharodontosaurid such as Eocarcaria, which was found nearby in the same formation and named in the same 2008 paper. Uh-oh. Yes. Well, either way, creeptops with Eocarcaria help show an earlier stage of abelosaurids and carcharodontosaurids in Gondwana. But maybe we'll see later papers further debating what belongs to creeptops. <laughs> yeah. It'd be helpful to find a more complete fossil. Always, always more fossils. <laughs> yep. So the Spinosaurid Suchomimus, the sauropod Nigersaurus, the ornithopods Uranosaurus and Lurdusaurus, and the crocodilian Sarcosuchus also lived at the same time and place as Creeptops and Eocarcaria. So a lot of large predators. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And then there were also fish and sharks and bivalves. You don't want to be on the land or in the water. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, even if you're a carnivore, it's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Because of the other carnivores. Mm -hmm. 
For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.